Hey guys, I'm here to show you a natural contouring look. I'm using Camouflage Coastal Scents palette and Coastal Scents brushes. I'll be using a medium and dark color, about two shades darker than my natural color. When you're applying this, apply right below the cheekbone. You can find this spot by making the kissy face. It kind of helps you see where that spot is where you're going to apply the dark. You're going to want to apply it above your forehead as well and along the bridge of your nose. Especially for people like me who have a wider nose, I contour my nose every day. Make sure not to forget the tip of the nose too. It causes a lifted look. For my lighter color, I use a smaller brush and I use all of my lightest colors. A little bit of beige, a little bit of yellow tones. I like to use them all just because they look better. And I'm going to highlight all the areas where light naturally hits my face. The nose, the forehead, and above the lip, and of course, under the eyes. Normally you won't have eyeshadow on before you do this. You're going to want to do your eyeshadow and everything after, but for this video I've already done my eyeshadow so I didn't feel like taking it off. Oh yes, and don't forget your chin either. As you can see I look pretty funny, but we're going to blend it all in. So blend and blend and blend, blend, blend. Continue to blend until you see absolutely no lines, no marks, no streaks, no nothing. You want it to look all nice and smooth. You could go ahead and stop there or you can add a transparent powder. I also add a powdered bronzer that's a matte and I use it to contour where I just used my dark shade. And make sure it's all blended in real nice and smooth. My next part is my highlighter. I use What's Up by Benefit. This stuff is great. Just dab it on where you want it to go. Anywhere that light naturally hits your skin, that's where you're going to want to apply this. So above the cheekbones, the nose, the forehead, and make sure you rub it all in really well. If you don't rub it in well enough, you're going to look like a robot. And nobody wants to be shiny like that. But a little bit of shine is always good. Now this step isn't necessarily needed, but I like to use blush. I just feel like it adds the end result and makes it perfect looking. Voila! If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'd love to hear from you. See you next time.